beekeeping these days, there's been this tendency to have each staff member managing as many hives as they can. The disadvantage with this approach, or the, I guess the complication, is that you miss out doing some things that are really important. So in some cases you can increase hive numbers, but instead of increasing honey production, you actually decrease it. And requeening is one of those. It's hugely important and something you have to get right. And the next four um, videos, we're going to cover a number of queen issues. The first one is how often you have to queen. The second one is timing, when to do it. A third one is how, what sort of approaches you can take to it. And the last one, which I think everybody will find very interesting, which is double queening. This is having more than one queen in a hive, so you increase your production. So on to the first one, how often should we do it? Now queens will live for four to five years, and you read comments in different places that suggest even older queens. But what the problem is, as the queen ages, her productivity becomes less. It's very subtle, you may not notice it, um, but your colonies will just not be doing very well if you've got queens that are older than that. And then you've got what happens, of course, is when a queen gets old, it'll actually fail. It'll stop producing um, brood. And in the spring when it happens, it's probably you're probably going to end up with honey loss because of it. You'll notice it on your inspections, but the colony may not have had a queen for a whole month when you get around to doing it. Sometimes when the queen fails, they requeen themselves, but of course the queen produced there may be not as good as the queen that you, were, that you wanted in those hives. So failures in spring are always a problem with older queens, and the, the worst one is a failure in the winter because you can't replace her at that stage, um, quite often the colony is just going to die. The third problem with old queens is swarming. Some years we get a lot of swarms and some we get very few, and that's to do with the environmental conditions. But over the top of all of that, old queens are much more likely to swarm. And of course, when a colony swarms, you're going to lose half your bees and any production from that hive. So requeening is really, really important. Some of the best beekeepers I know, they requeen not everything they requeen not only everything every year, but they requeen about 120% of their hives. So they go, go through and place all their queens every year. They then go and check the ones that they didn't like the look of or didn't work so well and came back and requeen them again. So, and this is our recommendation, is perhaps not 120%, but you go and requeen every hive every year. That's the optimum. You'll help in production, it will help in colony losses and it will reduce, reduce warming. So the thing to be aiming for is that you've got no hive, no queens in any of your hives that are less than a year old. And depending on when you go in specs, in the middle of winter, if you're it's, sorry, in the middle of the honey flow, if you're inspecting in the spring, you'll have no queen that's older than six months old. And probably new queens is one of those major things that is the difference between a really good beekeeping operation and one that is struggling. So in summary, requeen every year. It'll help you with queen survival, colony survival. It'll help you with productivity and it will reduce swarming.